cool. Okay, so we're going to start laying on our backs. So let's lay on our backs. <laughs> So we want to have a nice long spine in a neutral spine position. So just pop in your hand just into the small of your back. So there should be just enough room there for you to slide your hand under, just in the bottom part of your back. So if that gap is uh, quite big and your chest is lifted up off the ground, you might want to try to bring your tailbone under. So maybe just engage the muscles in your butt and see what happens to your pelvis when you do this. Cool, just get yourselves nice and comfortable. Nice and long through the whole of the spine, little tuck of the chin just to lengthen through the back of the neck. Just bring one hand onto your tummy and one hand onto your lowest ribs. And we're just gonna feel your breath, so feel where it moves naturally. So you might find that your breath is already naturally moving into your ribcage more than your tummy. And in Pilates, we use a thoracic breath. So a thoracic breath is like a rib cage breath. So we use our tummy muscles um, so much that we don't want to be expanding our bellies like we do in yoga. We want to keep the breath full inhales and exhales, but coming into the ribs. So bearing this in mind as you inhale and exhale, seeing if you can bring the breath more into the ribs. I'm going to keep the hand on your tummy still. And maybe now try starting to exhale through your mouth. So imagine you're blowing out candles on the cake. Just feeling your tummy muscles engaging here. So next exhale, add a squeeze of your pelvic floor muscles. So as you breathe out, squeeze the pelvic floor. Next exhale, we're gonna squeeze the muscles in the butt. And this next exhale, so keep everything engaged. Next exhale, just really feeling it in your ribs. So really squeeze your ribs together. And there it is, this is your full brace. So engaging your glutes, your pelvic floor, engaging the muscles in your tummy and pulling in from the rib cage. So when we uh, are bracing, this is kind of what we are referring to. So let's take a couple of breaths here. So trying to keep nice and engaged. Into the nose, out through the mouth. Really trying to keep that hand on your tummy completely still. Okay, so the next exhale, just bring your right knee into your chest. So still keeping that nice engagement through the core. Just using your arm strength just to pull the knee in towards your shoulder. So trying to keep your low back flat into the ground, trying to keep your shoulders open. So if they're kind of scrunching up towards your knee, just roll them back and down. Nice, nice and long through the back of the neck. If you want a bit more for the stretch, you can try to push your knee into your hand as you pull your knee into your chest just to create some more traction. So next exhale, so really exhale and brace. Point all your toes and just lift that left foot up off the ground. So as you lift the foot, really press your low back into the ground. So breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. Really feeling like every exhale is creating more of an engagement through your core. Nice and engaged all through the right leg there. So there's next inhale, maybe lifting the head and shoulders up. So if that doesn't feel good, keep your head and shoulders down. So if you do lift your head and shoulders, make sure you have a fist shake up to your chin and your chest. Just holding it there. So try to keep the knee where it is, releasing the grip on the knee and bringing your hands behind your head to support your neck. So keep squeezing your belly button just fine. Keep squeezing your pelvic floor. We're going to swap the left knee for the right. So pull the left knee in, pull the right toe away. Keep breathing and swap nice and slow. So if this is too much, bring your legs a bit higher. So the lower you go and the slower you go, the more difficult these movements are. Try and keep your elbows nice and wide. Keep pulling your belly button to your spine. Nice and slow. Okay, next time you get your left knee, press your head and shoulders down, rest the right foot down and just pull that knee in. So taking a nice stretch 
for your hips here. So keep scanning through your body, trying to keep your low back uh, in contact with the floor here, trying to keep your shoulders nice and open, checking in with the jaw, make sure you're not too tight through your jaw. If you want a bit more, you can push the knee into your hand just to create a bit of traction within the body. Let's do that core work on the other side. So pointing your toes, really engaging your tummy muscles, lifting the right foot up. So the whole of the right leg is engaged here. Every exhale, see if you can squeeze your tummy muscles a bit tighter. So this is, if this is okay for you, just staying here. Otherwise, you have an option to lift your head and shoulders up. So exhale and lift. Making sure you have that fist shape gap between your chin and your chest so the back of your neck is nice and long. Keep breathing into your ribs. Exhale, see if you can squeeze your tummy muscles a bit more. Squeezing your rib cage in as well. If you want a little bit more, bringing your hands behind your head to support your neck. So elbows nice and wide. Try not to roll the elbows in. Keep them as wide as you can and swap. The so right knee comes in, left toe stretches away and swap. Keep pulling your belly button in. If you want a bit more here, we can take a twist. So opposite shoulder, opposite knee, crisscross. Try and aim your shoulder rather than your elbow. Keep breathing. And once you've had enough of these, bring your belly button into your spine. Your belly button. <laughs> bring your knees into your chest, sorry. Oh, so let's rest. Bring your knees into your chest. Head and shoulders rest down. Just rocking side to side. Maybe drawing some circles with the knees. In one direction and taking the circles the opposite way. Okay, so hands into a capital T, palms face down. Just checking in with your shoulders and your neck. We're gonna just making sure your neck is nice and long. We're gonna bring the legs into a tabletop. So before we lift, really press your lower back into the ground, squeeze the pelvic floor, bring the rib cage in and bring your legs into a tabletop. So if this is a bit too much, knees can come a little bit closer, but try to hold this tabletop position. So breathing into your ribs, and exhale in your belly button to your spine. Really engaging your core. Just have another two breaths here. Okay, so using your next exhale to drop your knees over to the right to hover. So think of stretching your legs as far as, over as they'll go. Hover them, maybe an inch off the ground. Take a breath in and exhale all the way up and over to the other side. Bring your knees to hover. Inhale, exhale up and over. So just matching this breath to movement. So inhale, stay, exhale, move. Inhale to hover and exhale to move. So really feeling the muscles in your sides and your spine working here. Maybe you get lots of uh, cracks and pops for your spine. I certainly do. Just focusing on exhaling as you lift and inhaling to hover. Let's have one more on each side. Trying to keep both your shoulders down. Cool. And next time you get over to the left, just resting the knees down. Making sure both of your shoulders are in contact with your mat. You can look the opposite way to the knees if it feels good in your neck. Otherwise, just keep looking up to the ceiling and keep keeping that belly button pulled into the spine, feeling your breath in your rib cage here. The next inhale to prepare, exhale, lift. All the way over to the right and resting the knees down on the right, taking that twist on the right side. So again, you can lift and replace your shoulders if you need to. You can move your legs into a more comfortable position. You can look down the opposite arm, uh, look at the opposite direction of your knees, or you can keep looking up. So just see what feels good in your body. Focusing on the breath coming into the ribs and keeping your belly button pulled to your spine. Okay, so use an inhale to prepare, exhale, lift, 
and bring your knees into your chest. So maybe lifting your head and shoulders up towards your knees, just stretching the top of the back. Maybe you want to rock side to side here. So just taking a massage from the floor. You might want to just hold on to the backs of your knees and just gently rock the length of the spine. So taking a massage from the floor through your back. Just gradually increasing the rocks. So trying to get a nice C-shaped spine. So you get a nice fluid movement. And we're just gonna see if we can just hover with the toes just off the floor. So take a big breath in, breathe out C-shaped spine. Let's try again. Coming forwards, see if you can hover. Oh, <laughs> your feet look so busy, sir. <laughs> Bring yourself into boat pose. <laughs> so your shins are parallel to the ground, maybe nice long through the spine, maybe releasing your hands. So take a big breath in. Let's breathe out C-shaped spine, rock back. See if you can come into boat. So using your core to stabilize. Two more times. Let's come back. And forwards and use your core. Good stuff. One more time. Come back forward, cool, just holding boat. So you can either hold boat or we could do some boat tucks. So either staying here or big inhale, exhale, just bring your knees right in, tuck, and come back to boat. Three more times, exhale, tuck, inhale, boat, exhale, tuck. Ooh, inhale, boat. One more time, exhale, tuck. Feeling that one, inhale, boat. Bring your feet down, let your knees open to the sides. Just take a little stretch for your hips. So it depends what your body needs. If you want to stretch more your inner thighs and your hips, bring your feet closer. If you want to stretch the outside of your hips and the spine, bring your feet further away. So see what you need. Inhale, lengthen your spine and exhale, starting to come forward. So nice straight back and then folding uh, the chin to the chest, right at the bottom. Taking a nice, well-deserved rest. So if you're feeling really nice and comfortable there, you're welcome to stay in this stretch, or we can transition into a forward fold. So if uh, the backs of your legs, Feel like they need a good stretch. Bring your toes up towards the ceiling, pull up from the quads, nice and tall through the spine, reach up and exhale, folding at the waist, at the hips, sorry, starting to come down with a nice flat back. So if the backs of your legs are really tight, just bend your knees, come all the way down and just bring your chin into your chest, stretching the whole back of the body. Maybe pedaling one knee at a time, just taking a stretch the hamstrings. I'm going to do a little bit of standing stuff. Okay. So let's sit up. Let's come over into a plank. So our first lovely plank. So hands underneath the shoulders. Stay so up on the tiptoes, bringing the, pulling the heels back. Engaging through the quads. Put in your belly button up to your spine, really pressing into your hands. Try and lift through your shoulders, keep breathing. Every exhale, think of bringing, bringing your belly button even more to your spine. Engage your muscles in your butt, but check in with the back of the neck. So is your neck nice and long here? So have one more inhale. Exhale, lift your hips, and we're going to walk the hands in towards your feet. Bend your knees as you go into a nice right on here. Just give your head a shake. Release any tension in your neck. Inhale, bend your knees even more. And exhale, let's roll up. So we should all be at the back of our mats. Shoulders back and down. So let's start with some uh, shoulder movements. So bringing your arms out and in. Out and in. So trying to keep your belly button pulled into your spine, nice and engaged through your core. Maybe getting lots of crunches and cracks in your shoulders. So good, as long as it doesn't hurt. Let's go the other way. 
my uh, crunchy, crunchy shoulder movement. Cool, come back somewhere in the middle. Inhale, lengthen your spine, exhale to roll down. Hands next to your feet, walk out into plank. So let's, uh, we're just gonna take 10 knee to elbows with the right foot, so lift the right foot up. Exhale, crunch your knees straight for your elbow. Inhale out, another nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come back into plank. Lift your hips, walk in between your hands. So keeping the right foot planted, we're going to lift the left foot up into standing splits. Big inhale here. Exhale, squat. So bring in the left knee to the back of the right calf. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. And up. So another two. And one. Big stretch up, last stretch. Step back with the left foot and pop that left knee down. Just stretching the hip flexor. Got there eventually. So think of your hips coming down as opposed to forwards. Hands underneath the shoulders, step back for a plank. So on the way back, the left foot. So it's easier if you just float your foot, bring the foot up, tap in the knee to the elbow. So exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Come back to plank, lift your hips, push your hands towards your feet. Have a little rest in your forward fold. If ragdoll feels better, just bend your knees as much as you need to. Inhale, bend in your knees and exhale, roll in. Shoulders back and down. Let's just take a loose twist. So without engaging your tummy too much. Feet maybe more just wider than your hips and we're just going to twist. Some nice loose twists for your spine. And then the blood rush into your fingers as we swing around. Okay, let's come back to the middle. And inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale to roll. Back down, folding forwards, take a breath in and walk your hands out into plank. Okay, so we're just going to do a uh, leg pulses. So let's start on the left leg. So lift the left leg up. Think about your butt and pulse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Walking in between the hands, the left foot stays uh, grounded, inhale the right leg up. Standing splits, inhale, exhale, chiva squat, so bring your knee to your calf, and inhale, stretch. Another four, exhale down, inhale up. Three, two, and one, tap, Stretch and all the way back into the low lunge, stretching that hip flexor. So just bring in, thinking of the hips coming down rather than forwards. Keep breathing, trying to keep the chest nice and open. In that lovely stretch. Okay, hands on either side of the foot. Tuck in the right foot, step back to the of the left. Okay. So bringing your awareness to that right butt cheek, just lifting the right leg up. And let's go. Ten pulses. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Three, two, ten. Bring the foot down. Push back into your heels. Let's just take a right ball there. Maybe swing side to side.
Um, so just one more plank and we're coming down onto our friends. So walk the hands out into plank, holding there, or if you've had enough, if your hands are knackered and you just want to rest, it's lowering yourself down onto your front. That's it, really push through your hands, breathe every exhale, belly back to spine. And let's all come down onto our front as slow as you can. Elbows grazing the ribs and lower yourself down. Cool. So hands um, alongside your body, arms facing down. Just bring your forehead down to the mat. So to prepare, we're going to imagine scooping your belly button up off the floor. So engage the muscles in your butt. Imagine peeling your belly button up. Inhale to prepare and exhale. We're just going to lift. So exhale. Lifting the shoulders, inhale back down. Exhale, lift. Inhale down. Another five of these. So really feeling your core muscles engaged. Exhale up, inhale down. Last one then, let's exhale, lift and hold it. Maybe lift your hands up off the floor, squeeze your shoulders together. Try and keep your, your legs down if you can. Exhale, lift a bit higher. Let's come all the way down. Turn your head to the side. Give your hips a wiggle. So make a pillow with your hands. Open your forehead on your pillow. So let's start with single leg lift. So pull your belly button to your spine, engage the muscles in your butt. Inhale to prepare as you exhale, lift your right foot up. So see if we can get the whole of the thigh up off your mat. Inhale back. Next exhale, lifting the left leg. So exhale up. Inhale down. So bring your belly button to your spine, exhaling to lift. Inhale to lower. So think of pointing your toe for the back of the room. So you want your, your leg to feel longer than the other one each time you lift it. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. So you can try double leg lifts if you'd like. So same tackers. Pull your belly button to your spine. Exhale, lift. Maybe both feet a bit more difficult. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lift. Inhale, down. Have one more. Exhale up. And down, hands underneath your shoulders. So tuck your toes. Engage your quads. Pull your belly button to your spine. Big inhale and exhale. See if you can push to plank. Bring your knees down. Sit back into child's pose. Take a break. So knees together. If you'd like to stretch into your back and uh, toes touch your knees wide. If you want to stretch more into your hips, just allowing your neck to feel nice and long, feeling the stretch in your spine here. Okay. So bring your hands out in front of you, come up on your knees. So into a box position. On the inhale, drop your belly down. So pull your shoulders away from your ears and on the exhale, round your spine. So taking some cat cows. Inhale, belly comes down. Exhale to round. So using your exhale to really engage your core. So thinking of exhale, squeeze all the air out. Engage everything. Okay, so this next exhale, we're going to use to really engage our core. So exhale, really squeeze everything. Then you went to the spine, pull your ribs in, really squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. To find a flat back position somewhere in the middle. So really focusing on your belly, but pulling into your spine here. Let's bring the left arm up off the floor. So just bringing the hand up to your shoulder. Maybe then bring the right leg back, but really trying to keep the spine in this position. 
pull your toes down to the ground. So try not to kind of arch here. Try and stay really nice and engaged. From there, you can bring the left arm out to the bicep as by your ear. So stay nice and lifted through that right arm. Take a big breath in. As you breathe out, keep your spine still and bring your knee and your elbow together. So rather than rounding, you want to keep the spine nice and straight. Inhale and out. Another five, exhale. Inhale out. Four. Three. Two and one. On the way out, so bring that right foot down to the ground. We're going to rotate into a gate position. So the left left knee is underneath my hip, and the right leg is out in line with the right hip. So squeeze the muscles in your butt to stop your uh, your posture from going, and bring your arms into a capital T. So on the inhale, we're going to stretch down the straightened leg and reach up and over with the left hand. Inhale, exhale, stay nice and strong in your tummy. Cut the hands around and reach. So inhale, up, stretch. Exhale, all the way around. So really feeling this in your tummy as you lift and stretch. So if you want to keep this nice and stretchy, stay in this little rhythm. You do one a bit more, you can reach over with both hands. So imagine you have a ball, and you want to reach and pass it slowly. Inhale back. Exhale. Inhale. One more. Exhale. Let's come all the way up. Inhale, stretch. And coming back around into that tabletop position. So right leg stays up. There's one more little bit. We're going to come into child's pose. Come back into that uh, spinal balance. Maybe lifting the left foot up. So we can balance. Just on the knee. Challenge, challenge, challenge. Whoop, whoop, whoop. And rest. So <laughs> bring both knees down. Sit back into your heels. Nice. And rest in child's pose. Let's refocus. Stretch, breathe. And next, inhale, let's come up on four fours. Exhale, round your spine. Bring it to cat, really pull your belly button in. Engage your core and inhale, find that butt back in the middle. So the next other side, so bring the right hand up to the shoulder. See how it feels. So already you're probably going to want to shift all of your weight over to the left. Try and keep everything equally uh, grounded. Maybe bringing the left leg up, trying to maintain this nice straight spine, belly button pulled in. Maybe you want to bring the right arm up by your ear. So really, really holding here, thinking of your alignment. Every exhale, pull your belly button into your spine. Inhale, keep the spine nice and straight. Exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale out. Another five, six in total. Exhale. Inhale out, so really keeping your awareness on your back. Trying to really keep it as still as you can. Is this another two? And another one. And bringing foot down to the ground, rotating round into our lovely gate pose again. So again, right uh, knee is underneath the hip, left leg pushing the outside edge of the foot down and really engage the muscles in your butt. Put in from your core, hands into a capital T. So let's inhale, stretch down the left leg, reach up and over the right hand and exhale, keeping your tummy muscles tight, stretch. 
Inhale. And exhale. So just following these movements, enjoying the stretch. If you do want a little bit more, maybe bringing both hands, imagine you're passing the ball to someone. Inhale, stretch. Another two, three, or whatever option, maybe another three. Inhale up. Another two. And one more then. All the way up, rotate back round to centre, lifting the left leg up. Just that little challenge if you fancy it, so bringing yourself into a spinal balance. Belly butt pulled in to your spine, maybe lifting that right foot up. Balance there. It's really hard. <laughs> and whenever you're ready, just bring yourself back down into child's pose. This time, toes touching, knees wide, sit back into your heels. Ah. Take a nice big breath in as you breathe out, just thread the right arm under the left to stretch the shoulder. Keep breathing. Inhale, swap the arms, so the right arm comes up, left arm comes in. Stretch. Inhale, bring both arms back out the front. So you can either stay resting in child's pose. We've got another silly little uh, prank just for fun thing to do. It's not really two words that go in the same sentence very often, is it? Pranks and just for fun. But just for fun, we're going to try some Superman <laughs> pranks, um, which I can't do, by the way. So uh, it's literally just for a laugh. So bring your legs a bit wider than your hips will help you. See if you can bring your left arm up to your shoulder. So you're going to want to really lean over to the right, maybe then lifting the right leg up. <laughs> See if you can stretch that left arm out front. And just breathe. <laughs> oh, wow, it's really hard. Bring your knee and your elbow together, maybe once or twice on each side. Really challenging. <laughs> Let's go to the other side. So, I'm going to take my sock. I'm going to give it the excuses. My socks to slide in. That's my excuse. That's why I can't do it. <laughs> it's not just because I can't do it. Nice sound. Uh, amazing. <laughs> so bring the left arm up. Maybe then the left foot. Maybe stretch. Bring the knee and the elbow together. Really challenging things are. Whoa. <laughs> Wherever you are. <laughs> Unless you want to carry on doing these, we're coming down onto our feet. Some more spine work. Ooh, so after that very challenging core work, bring your hands underneath your shoulders. Let's just lift into a high cobra. Keep your hips down, stretch it through the front of your body. So bring your feet to mat distance. You can just kind of rock side to side. Stretchy stretch. And then slowly all the way down. Arm to your front, just turn your head to the side. Just have a moment there to relax, just feeling your breath on the ground. Listening to your heart beating. Stick the head up and turn it the other way, so rest the opposite ear.
Thank you. And bring your forehead down to your mat. Bring your arms into a capital T. Keep your feet nice and wide. So pull your belly button up. Imagine you want to pull your stomach up off the mat. Engage the muscles in your butt. Take a big breath in to prepare. As we exhale, lifting everything up and starting. Inhale lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale lower. Exhale and lift. So really pushing through the balls of the feet. Inhale down. Exhale up. So two more down and up. Inhale lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale down. Exhale up. Let's hold it. So you can either hold here, or as you exhale, you can bring your feet together and touch your hands. Inhale, come back up. Five more of these. Exhale in. Inhale out. Four. Three. Two. And the last one then. One. Come back to a capital T. Four. Rest your bodies down. Bring the left arm underneath the left shoulder. Bend the left knee. Rolling over to the right, just stretching. The front of the shoulder there. Giving a nice twist for the spine. An opening for front of the right shoulder. Draw back to center. Bring the right arm, left arm out, sorry. Right hand underneath the right shoulder, bend the right knee and roll in over the side. Back to center, hands underneath your shoulders. So we can push to a plank again. Tuck your toes, lift your knees, have a big breath in as you breathe out. Up into plank and back into child's pose. Nice. Stretch in there. Relaxing. So next inhale, just bring yourself up onto your knees and just coming around onto our backs. So maybe sitting in a, in an L shape. So maybe legs out in front, engaging the quads, pulling in from the tummy, reach your hands up. Big stretch and lengthen through the spine. Inhale, exhale, C shaped spine. Start to slowly roll your way back down, slow as you can. So if you feel like you're going to drop, just pop your elbows down and support yourself. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Good stuff. And bring your knees into your chest. So we'll do an accumulator now, I think. Let's do a leg lower accumulator. Um, so as the time goes on, the um, it will get more, um, the difficult rating will get more. So feel like you can come up, you can also back off and come down uh, to an easier option. It's all up to you. So bring your palms down. See if you can just squeeze your thumbs just right underneath your butt, just to stop yourself from moving and bring your legs up, straight up. Imagine you've got like a yoga block or like a tray of tea on your feet. So pull your toes back towards you. Low back is pulling down into the ground. Take a big breath in to prepare. As you exhale, just bring the right leg down to hover. So the right leg is fully engaged. Inhale, back up. 
over to the left, exhale down, so bring it to hover, inhale, back up. So keep an eye on your low back, just keep alternating the legs, exhale down, inhale up. Make sure your low back isn't arching, so if the back does begin to arch, just don't bring the legs as low, or take a breather. So keep bracing, keep pulling in from the pelvic floor, keep exhaling, embracing to lower, inhaling to come back up. So just checking in with your spine and the rest of your body, making sure both legs are fully engaged. Okay, so let's bring the right leg down to maybe halfway and hold it there. So just focusing on the left leg, we're going to bring the left leg to meet the right and bring it back up. Exhale down, inhale back up. Another three. Another two. One more. Bring both legs up. So left leg comes halfway down and hold it there. Fully engage the left leg. So exhale, right leg down. Come back up. Exhale down. And up. If this is too much. Just go back to single leg lowers. And up. Exhale down. And up. Bring both legs back up. So try and double leg lowers, remembering the other two options, exhaling both legs from down and inhale back up. So if your low back is arching, just bring it, don't bring your legs so low. Exhale into lower, inhale to come back up. Keep pushing your low back into the ground. Really squeezing your pelvic floor. So another three like this, resting when you need to. So if you need to rest, just pull your knees into your chest. If you want a little bit more, you can add a reverse curl. So as you're lifting legs up, maybe lifting your pelvis and down. Lift and down. So you can use your hands on the ground to help you get that little lift. If you do want even more of a challenge, you can lift your arms up. Cross over your chest. Wherever you are, let's take another three. One, three. Bring your knees into your chest. Whoa. And just rest there. Let's take a, um, a half twist. So keep hold of the right knee, lengthen the left leg out. Bring the right arm out to the floor in line with the shoulder and with the left hand, just draw the right knee across the body, just come into a nice relaxing twist. So any breathing done. Inhale, come back to center. Swap the legs, left knee comes in. Lengthening out the left arm, bring the right knee over, bring the right, the left knee across the body to the right, but then eventually, like a half twist. Use your next inhale to come back to center. Bring both knees into your chest. Maybe have a little squeeze there. Move however you need to move. We'll take some shoulder bridges next. So we're working the back of the body now, just to even everything up. So bring your heels nice and close. I'll have trouble that one there. Bring your heels nice and close to your butt. Hands can come alongside the body, palms face down. So on the inhale, we inhale to prepare. On the exhale, flatten your low back into the ground and peel your tailbone up. So vertebrae by vertebrae, lifting to a shoulder bridge. Inhale at the top and exhale to lower. So see if you can get each of your vertebrae in touch with the mat. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, lift. So unlike the yoga version, we lift on the exhale. And notice the difference. 
Inhale at the top and exhale down. Just rock this with your own natural rhythm, following your breath. Exhale to lift, inhale, and exhale to lower. Remember to breathe into the ribs. So next, exhale and lift. We're just going to hold it there. So inhale into the ribs. Try and keep your belly down and exhale. Push into the heels, lift through the glutes even higher. Really feeling your butt working here. So you can either hold or we can do some booty taps. So as you exhale, bring your hips to hover. Inhale, squeeze your, gl your glutes and come back up. Exhale down, inhale, lift. Exhale down, inhale up. So really keeping an eye on your belly as you're inhaling into your ribs, not into your stomach. Really feeling your glutes working. If you want a bit more, you can lift your toes up and just stay on your heels. Another five. Four, three, two, and last one. All the way up, nice and slowly lower, and bring your knees into your chest. If your butt is not burning after that, then wow, give your legs a little kick. Put that to just kick the backs of the legs up to the knees, and we draw some circles in each direction with the knees. Well, okay, so let's do the 100 next. So the 100, we are going to maintain a position um, working our core for the count of 100. So we've got a couple of options um, for the positioning of the body. So our first option is as we were with the toe taps, with the legs straight up towards the ceiling. You can hold this, really bring the belly button to your spine. It can be really quite challenging there. Or you can take a tabletop which we did at the beginning of the class. So your next option is to lift your head and shoulders up. Again, make sure you have a fist shape gap between your chin and your chest. From here then, your options are to straighten the legs and bring them closer to the floor. So the more of like a dish shape that you're in, the more challenging it will be. Remember that we need to hold this for a hundred counts. So obviously challenge yourself, but, um, don't over-challenge yourself that you can't hold it the whole time. So you can always come out, you can come back in, you can come deeper, um, or you can come and take some of the effort off. So find your positioning that you're going to hold. Let's take a big breath in to prepare. And exhale, let's go. So breathe in, two, three, four, five, breathe out, two, three, four, five, breathe in, two, three, four, five, breathe out, two, three, four, five. Five, breathe in, two, three, four, five, breathe out, two, three, four, five, breathe in, two, three, four, five, breathe out, two, three, four, five, you're halfway, two, three, four, five, breathe out, two, three, four, five, breathe in, two, three, four, five, breathe out, two, three, four, five, last 30, maybe lower, four, five, breathe out, two, three, four, five, last 20, two, three, four, five, breathe out, two, three, four, five, last 10, two, three, four, Five, breathe out, two, three, four, five, and bring your knees into your chest. Who e? Wow, they're fun, aren't they? Bring your feet to mat distance, and let's just take a twist each direction for the legs. You might want to just uh, rock windscreen wiper the legs. So just bringing them side to side. Maybe dropping one to one side and holding feels really good. So just working. So much time you have left. 
Okay, let's do um, something a little bit more peaceful, a um, bit of core work that's not quite as uh, challenging. And then we've got time, time for the last challenge and then relaxation. So bring, you can bring the left leg with the foot on the ground or with the leg straight. And the right leg is gonna come up to the ceiling. So this is called corkscrew. So just imagining that you're drawing a circle with your toe. So point the toe and you're drawing a circle. So the aim of the game is to draw the biggest, most perfect circle you can without your body moving on the mat. So as you come to the side, you'll want the shoulder to peel up. As you come the other way, you'll want to peel up. Try and keep everything grounded. So the bigger the circle, the more challenging it's going to be to keep your body still. So if you want even more of a challenge, you can bring your hands off the floor and cross them over your chest. Like a run behind them. Wherever we are, let's go the opposite way. So really using your core to stabilize. It's challenging. You might find one direction is easier than the other. Bring the right leg down and bring the left leg up. So the same on the other side, point your toe, starting with small circles. So you'll start to notice uh, maybe one side of your body, this is a bit easier than the other. So we start noticing the weaknesses that we have on one side and the other. If you do want more of a challenge, bringing your hands up off the floor and trying to just use your muscles to keep both sides of your body grounded. So the bigger the circles are, the more challenging this will be. Let's change direction, go the other way. Wobbling around everywhere I am. Let's just do another two or three circles, really focusing here. And bring both knees into your chest. So last but not least then, let's try double legs. So bring both legs up to the ceiling. And let's try and do four leg circles. So this is where it's really fun. Maybe you want to bring your hands a bit wider than your body for this one. And if you do really want to laugh, you can bring your hands across your chest. <laughs> so much more difficult here. But yeah, being aware of the limitations is a really good thing as well. So it's always stuff to work on. Always good, good. Okay, bring your knees into your chest. And let's take a full body stretch. So inhale, full body stretch. And exhale, rolling up through your spine. Let's bring all this way. Sit up nice and tall, inhale. And exhale, forward fold. So just rest in a nice forward fold. Bringing your chin to your chest, stretching the whole back of the body. Okay, so before we stretch out then, let's just try and do a plank challenge. I'll try and use my Fitbit timer to, uh, to time a minute, but it's quite difficult on there because it will switch off as I'm going. So I'll do my best. Let's do a plank, a one minute plank, last challenge. If you do not want to do a minute plank, rest in child's pose and then we'll meet there. Otherwise, get yourselves ready. This is the last bit until we finish. Sorry. When you're ready. So you can choose any kind of plank. You can come into a full plank, you can come into a forearm plank, you can bring your knees down and uh, do a kind of half plank. See what suits you, or you can rest is another option. I'm going to have a go at a forearm. So are we ready? Let's go. So try not to think about the time. Try to think about uh, your breath. Maybe think about um summertime we think of nice holidays that you want to go on thanks can be really tricky but the challenge is always more in the mind than anywhere else just keep breathing 
that's already halfway, guys. 30 more seconds. We've got six long inhales and exhales. So keep focused on your breath. Ten more seconds. Three, two, one. Go on, guys. Rest yourselves down. Bring your hands underneath the shoulders. Lift and stretch the fronts of your body. So lift up into a nice high cobra. Just wiggle yourself however you need to. Just stretch out those cores. Ah, lovely. Bring your arms slightly uh, wider. That feels more comfortable into kind of more of a seal. That feels better on the shoulders. You just want to look side to side there. Nice stretch out to the front of the body. Come all the way down. Hands under the shoulders, push back to child's pose. Nice stretch for your backs, maybe rocking side to side here. Okay, let's come up to a seat. Just have a little seated stretch. Okay, so any comfortable seated position, you can stay on your knees if that feels good. Bring your hands together. Inhale, reach your hands up. Exhale, we're just going to side bend to the left. Nice stretch for the side of the body. Exhale, stretch. Inhale, come back up. And exhale to the other side. Inhale up. Exhale, twist. So bring in the left hand to the right knee. Right hand comes out behind the hips. Just twisting through the spine. Inhale here, lengthen your spine. Exhale, maybe twist deeper. Inhale back to center. Reach. And exhale, twisting the opposite way. So when you squeeze all the air out, inhale to lengthen your spine. And exhale to twist a bit deeper. Inhale, come back to center. Maybe let's take a little chest expansion and a forward fold. So interlacing your fingers behind your back. Press your fingertips into the backs of your palms. Put away from your body first as you inhale. And exhale, folding forwards, reaching the arms up and over. Keep putting uh, your arms away from your body so you avoid a kind of hunching in your shoulders. You can rock side to side if that feels good. Keep pressing the fingers into the backs of your palms. Come all the way up, stretch the legs out in front. Just one more forward fold. So lifting nice and tall through the spine. And then starting to fold along the legs. So again, if your the your hamstrings are quite tight, pop a bend in the knees. Try and get your toes facing up towards the ceiling so that your hips are in a in a good position. And we're just going to stay and hold this stretch. So really bring your chin to your chest. You might want to imagine you have like a, a ball that you're plugging into your belly just to get really nice C shaped spine here. Wherever we are, then next inhale, and then reach all the way up. And exhale, nice and slowly, rolling down. All the way onto your mat. Let's take a big full body stretch at the bottom. So inhale, stretch fingers away from your toes. Exhale, bring your knees into your chest. So we're going to take our relaxation in a minute. So if there is any movements, anything that your body feels like you need to stretch that you haven't quite stretched yet, then feel free to take whatever stretches you need. Maybe you want to pop your socks back on or pop a jumper on. It can get quite cold quite quickly when we relax. 
Um, so yeah, do whatever you need to do to feel comfortable. Okay, so finding our Shavasana. So just seeing what feels most comfortable for your back. I always feel more comfortable with my feet at my distance and rolling my knees into center. I feel like my spine can be nicely supported. You might find a full Shavasana suits you better with the legs out straight. So wherever we are, let's just make sure we're all together. So let's take a nice big inhale into the tummy, up into the ribs. Hold the breath at the top. Sip a little bit more air inside. And exhale. Just feeling all the tension in your body, just releasing. Just take a scan through your body. Just looking for anywhere that feels tight. Just being aware of any habitual movements you do, like twiddling your fingers or maybe rubbing your toes together. Just be aware of yourself and your body, the movements. So we're going to try a interesting relaxation technique that I did earlier and found really, really, really relaxing. So inhaling and exhaling through the nose, we're going to observe a four second pause between breaths. So if pausing on an exhale makes you feel panicked or pausing your breathing makes you feel panicked, then don't, then just go back to a normal breathing practice. But otherwise, inhaling through your nose. Hold for one, two, three, four, and exhale fully. And hold for one, two, three, four, inhale. And hold, one, two, three, four, and exhale. And hold, one, two, three, four. So as you're doing this breathing pattern, following your own breath, just be aware of your fight or flight uh, switching off. So a sympathetic nervous system switching into parasympathetic. So you might feel tingling in your fingers and in your feet. Uh, maybe you'll feel um, your heart rate slow down. Just watching out for things like your mouth going dry and your heartbeat speeding up as long as it, this is this is making you feel um, the opposite of relaxed. So just being aware of your body, focusing on your breath, trying to stay in the zone on your mat for a couple more minutes. Start to move your fingers, toes, just bring the movement back into your body. Maybe taking some nice big deep inhales into your belly. And then if you're ready, let's take a big full body stretch to wake ourselves up, stretching the fingers away from the toes. And hugging your knees into your chest. So from here, you can roll onto your side and make your way to a seat. 
where you can rock and roll. Touch your seat. See what feels the best. You're taking your time to come from your relaxation. Oh, lovely, lovely, lovely. So let's bring the hands to the heart centre. It just takes a nice closing breath. So interlacing the fingers, inhale, reach back and stretch. Exhale, rounding your spine, push away from the body, stretch your shoulders. Inhale, opening your chest, reach up. And exhale, hands to your heart centre. Thanks ever so much for coming. Give yourselves a big colour, a big pat on the back for joining and getting involved and doing this lovely thing for yourself. It's not always the easiest thing in the world. Hope you're feeling full of really great energy and you enjoyed that class. And thanks a lot for coming.